As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen G. White. God speaks through the silence. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 1 verse 9. By permitting John to be banished to the Isle of Patmos, Christ placed his disciple in a position where he could receive the most precious truth for the enlightenment of the churches. He placed him in solitude that his ear and his heart might be sanctified to receive this truth. The persecution of John's enemies became a means of grace. Patmos was made resplendent by the glory of a risen Savior. What a Sabbath that was to the lonely exile! Never had he learned so much of Jesus, never had he heard such exalted truth. The worker for God often regards the activities of life as essential to the advancement of the work. Self is mingled with all that is said and done. The worker looks upon himself as a necessity. God says, This poor soul has lost sight of me and my sufficiency. I must cast my light and my vitalizing power into his heart. I must prepare him to receive truth by anointing him with a heavenly eye salve. He sees too many things. His eye is not fastened on me. Sometimes the Lord makes his path to the soul by a process painful to humanity. He is compelled to fortify the soul against self-esteem and self-dependence in order that the worker shall not regard the failings and the infirmities of his unsanctified nature as virtues and thus be ruined by self-exaltation. If those who claim to believe the grand truths for this time would prepare themselves by searching the scriptures, by earnest prayer, and by the exercise of faith, they would place themselves where they would receive the light they so much crave. The eloquence of silence before God is often essential. If the mind is kept in continual excitement, the ear is prevented from hearing the truth that the Lord would communicate to His believing ones. Christ takes His children from that which holds their attention, that they may behold His glory. Speak on.